Hello, this is Grandma's Gone Gaming. I'm bringing you Episode 3 of my 2016 personal challenge, which I've called The Railroad. This is the new pad for the main depot. Okay, now that you've seen that uh, still picture of the uh, pod pad, <laughs> as it was, um, actually about oh, 30 Minecraft days ago, I wanted to show you... Um, I have uh, stone clad the entire uh, part of my little shelter here and I had my crafting center down here and now I just am warehousing my dirt <laughs> and my cobble over here um, and I had I had other chests along here but I have moved them now I've done a lot of terraforming I've done a lot of mining I'll take you down and show you one of those mines looks like something's burning up over there probably a skeleton Maybe not. There is a ravine right underneath there. And I've been down there. I'm not finished working through that yet. Um, and I'm going to need a lot more iron and gold. But I've been picking up quite a bit. As you can see, I have full... This is actually repaired armor. So it's on its second round right now. And it only cost about half the price to use, you know, the... Um, uh, yeah, the, the uh, anvil and repair it. Right there is one thing I'm going to take down before the end of this episode. <laughs> That's, uh, I've been calling it my mini sky block. And there's another one right over here that has two trees. And another, I think, over here. This whole area is kind of strewn with these uh, flying sky block thingies. I've been collecting this for extra food, not for, uh, um, for uh, craft uh, enchantment table. However, I really don't need the food, and I've been making jack-o'-lanterns out of the pumpkins and planted them in here so that they uh, don't... Uh, this is a really neat way of doing it, actually. If I do it like this, plant them on a... Um, you know, what do you call it? Jagged edge like this. <laughs> then they can only grow one way. Right there, here, here, to here. So if I want to throw in a few more, and I probably will, um, I'll hoe that ground and, and uh, put them in along with that there and ha have a better deal. Now I did um, start all four of my my uh, railroad directions out here and I've done the terraforming out here. So you can see the other little, there's a sky block with no trees. There's one over here. I think that one has, I'm not sure if it has one or two trees, but there's just like, uh, and there was a, there's like a pillar pointing up here. And uh, that, underneath that, was like a partial pillar of the diorite coming out of a four block of sand. I mean, of, of dirt. It just looked really strange. It's like somebody broke it off up there or something. Anyway, so I have this started for my railroad here. I just kind of played around and had fun with the fence. It had to be high because these hills were pretty high. I have taken, since then, the hills down. Um, moved them back, you know, that's where all the dirt came from. Lit up out here so I don't get shot all the time by skeletons that have been around. But I have collected over I th I th over a stack of bones. I've used a lot of them for different things, including, I'll show you that one thing in just a minute. I <laughs> helped grow these trees in here uh, quickly for one thing. Now they're not only seeding here and uh, decoration, but up on the top of them, I'd have to get up higher to show you, but there is a jack-o'-lantern in the center, you know, the top leaf has been taken out of each tree and helps uh, light up out here a little bit further, and as you can see the railroad spurs are sticking out here ready to go. I think I'm going to go north, that's going to be the most difficult one to at least start with, but um, I've been over that way a little bit, and it uh, definitely is all hills and dales over that way. But here's one guy that he actually only took one bone. And if you remember in the first episode, the um, when I was getting myself over here, the wolves showed up back over here, coming through this uh, little veil here. Um, they were actually probably over there at the edge of that, it, not very far away. This is... You know, the center of this is 0680, and where the wolves were, where I was standing, was 36782. So, you know, it's just really not that far, like 80, 80 blocks that way. And one night when I was in here playing, 
this little guy showed up out here uh, and uh, warned me of a skeleton and ended up killing him. And that was before, well, I still had a wooden sword. And uh, so I collected the bones from him. And uh, I, th I had two, I think, already in my uh, inventory and got two more and offered him some bones and he took the first one and has been my little friend ever since. He almost got killed down there in that ravine I was pointing at. Um, but he made it back over here and he's healthy and I've had him out with me a couple times but he's he's a nice little pup. Alright now I have um, I didn't want to raise up you know any part of this any more than it already is um, so I decided <laughs> actually I couldn't sleep last night hardly for because I didn't play I was playing so late and so I realized oh hey I could just put these cart um, you know, just the cart container head down here in a hole. So underneath that I put the um, the planks down there just to match. And it comes right in. You can easily get out of there. And I'll, I'll show you how, to, how I've done it here. I have this in here. Now the trap door allows everything to go out. You do not have to open it to go in or out with your train. Um, and the trap door, rather than a gate in here, allows you to fight mobs. If you had a gate in here, it would be like fighting down here and it would do that and it would eventually, you know, because that block has something on it. That's what the gate does when you open it. You can't fight anything through the gate, but with the trap door, the 1.9 trap door is so cool. I really like it. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and, uh, whoops, get into this car. We'll take you out to the end of the line here. You got enough time. See, real easy, and then you get off here. And we'll just push this baby back on the line. Come on. I don't want to be out here too long now. Hey, whoops. Oh, well. But as you can see, it goes right through the trap door just like that. And brings you down into there, and you can just jump out. So it's very handy, and nothing can get in here. The uh, skeletons and everything leave you alone. If an anything comes up here and is you know running around the edges, which there's a lot of light out here right now, so it's not as much of that as there was. Uh, occasionally you get something out here, but you can fight it right through here. Okay, you don't want to do anything with uh, Enderman, of course, because you don't have anything to protect your head. <laughs> okay, so you just go around here, and inside of here, this is the uh, main depot. And I didn't try to make it, you know, like a ticket place or anything like this. It's just kind of an overnight stay place. Now, I have slept in this bed. It was over there in my mountain hideaway. Um, kind of like what I did with the windows. It felt like fun. I brought most of my stuff over here. I mean, I brought all the all the stuff, except for the cobble and the, and the dirt. Um, but I have, um, let's see here, where the crafting table is, I have my essentials, which includes more diamonds than what I already have in that pickaxe, um, and uh, stuff for enchantment, which I have decided I do need to do as I go on. Uh, it'll be fun to get that done, and I will also get my brewing stand set up. I have killed so many uh, zombie villagers out around here, um, and down in the caves. There's just myriad caves underneath here, and uh, it was just like, wow, I, I just need to uh, get some stuff and get myself a couple of uh, ticket taker guys to live in here, and they wouldn't be able to get out. They can't get out through those trap doors. But they can just go in and out of this place and, and be our our main, you know, it'll be a tiny village. <laughs> our, our main depot of people. Okay, food and gardening. I want to put the... Now some of that I will make into paper. Some of it I'll make into sugar. Um, I do have, um, if I want to take the time, I have a carrot that I just got from a zombie just a couple of, of nights back. And I've uh, been picking up seeds and all this kind of stuff. I can plant more. I've been planting saplings and then, you know, uh, harvesting them, harvesting them, harvest, harvesting them. Over here I have, you know, just the usual junk. Stuff you pick up, stuff to make arrows. Um, the ender pearl <laughs> killed one guy um, down in that ravine, actually. Um, and just picking up yeah, I haven't actually picked up a whole lot of spider eyes. I've picked up a lot of strength. Kind of the opposite of what usually seems to happen to me. Kill the witch, got that bottle. That was all she gave me. Not even I think maybe a stick. I'm not sure. Um, I have some bones here that I haven't made into bone meal. That was my last couple of kills there, or one. 
I have coal here. I've been going through coal like crazy, but picking up like crazy too. Um, just a stone sword so far. And uh, lots of oak planks. Now as I gather the birch trees, then I am just making them into sticks. Um, oh, here I have, this is my polished stuff. On this side is stuff to be polished. And here are some other things. Now I can obviously build my uh, my chest up higher if I need to, but I'll be working on the other depots and going on down the line now. So I'll be making my first whistle stop before too long. Construction, you know, the usual stuff to, you know, doors, fences, all that kind of stuff in there. So, um, looks like I'm going to sleep here again in a little bit. Yeah, so anyway, this is, uh, we'll sleep away the night. And there's my anvil. It's only been used a couple times. All right. So I wanted to show you how to, now I, it's rather than look up the F3 display all the time, it's just easier to see, which because obviously this is perfectly symmetrical, which I'm, not everything that I do is that way, but it's close. <laughs> it's not outside. All right, so obviously to get through here, I can't go through here like I can on the minecart, but when, you, when they're on the minecart, you can without getting harmed but I can get out here. Now I haven't decided yet um, whether I will make this wider and or just leave it, I think I might just leave it narrow, but I will put a fence alongside of it at least. I mean it's not in a lot of danger here, but um, as it gets over this way more uh, it will be from things that might be up on the mountainside and stuff like that. And I, I wanted to leave this little island in here but the trees are there, and I don't really want to go up and over them. So I'm thinking I'm just going to go right through that tree. And I, that's one reason I've left this narrow, so I can just get right on through here. And then when I get to the hill over there, I think I'm going to go through it too and make a tunnel. And that means you know, I've got plenty of cobblestone to work with for that. Or I could use the uh, um, andesite or anything I want. But I'll give you a, sh a little uh, quick tour now where the the um, ravine is. You don't even see it. I've been out here several times and hadn't even seen... Uh, was it over here? Oh, wait, wait, wait. Maybe I went too far. <laughs> okay, it's up in here. It is here, I promise. There it is. I knew it was here. Okay, right there. Underneath that tree. And uh, I've been up and down quite a few times now, so it is uh, a little bit developed. Um, oh, I see there's stuff that I haven't pulled out of there yet. Yeah, I haven't done much at all with the upper part of it. I'm just getting in yeah, here a zombie right now. And uh, built this platform over. This is pretty dark underneath there. Yeah, I don't... I mean, probably want to throw a little bit more light up this way. And probably should put some stairs up that way. Not sure. I think the zombies are down underneath there. And that's completely closed off for right now, except for when you get out of here. So obviously there is a, a lot of stuff that can still be done. A lot of things to be... Oh, and here we go. Alright. So we'll just get this guy out of the way. And um, take this guy out. Where did he go? There he is. That's the hard part about them is they move. Otherwise than that, they're not too bad. Especially if you've got armor on, and I just I don't like using the shields; they bother me. I have food. Had to go out and go hunting uh, recently. I hear another one coming. Oh, there he is! All right, all right. We'll take you out too, then. Okay. If you can get right up inside of them like that, just like always, like we used to, they're really not that hard. Even without armor, you can do it pretty. It's not that bad once you get used to it. Um, and they did tweak it at 1.9.4, obviously. It's a little bit easier than it used to be. Okay. So, uh, you know, I just, what I do is I just go in and I light up everything and uh, kill things as I go. And then I come back around after things are lit up. Anyway, so this, basically, let's, let's take this one. And uh, a lot of these are just going to come back together here. Let's see what we can find out here. And it doesn't get down into the ravine proper here until quite a ways further down. 
but everything out here is like this. It just twists all over the place. Don't think I really... Yeah, see, that's... Well, uh, looks like I see light out there, so... We'll just go ahead and put a light up here and connect back where I were. Anyway, that's the ravine. More stuff. And zombies down there. Yeah. The witch, I think, was right in here when I killed her. As you can see, this is actually a ravine here. But I'm going to go back up the stairs. You can get up there that way, too. And uh, just wanted to show you what's all around here, what kind of countryside this is. I almost fell right into it the first time when it was like just this big hole. So I covered it up. I went down in and got a few resources out. Covered it up, and, and I should probably put some trapdoors or something on there, but nothing's coming out of there uh, because of the lighting. Yeah, so anyway, I'll just probably continue that. That's, I'm going to go that way first, north, go through the hills. So that's my first thing, but you can see it was a little difficult getting the, um, as always when you're using jack-o'-lanterns, you got to have something to put them on it, and you can't just put them directly on a fence post. So you got to put, you know, like a block of dirt underneath there, put the pumpkin on it, and then take the block out and then make it look like it's supported by the fence post. Because the jack-o'-lantern will stay even in mid-air. You, but you, you have to have something solid to put it on. And this here is an, that one of the northern track um, container there. That's where the, the, the car is. Now, I have, uh, I'll show you what I've, I've got one chest in there that has quite a bit of real stuff in it, but nowhere near enough to get me to the first place. Well, I, I suppose it is near. I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight full stacks of 64, so that's like a little over 500 some uh, all together, and then I, but I only have 24 powered rails left. And that is not enough because I'm going to have a bunch of hills. That is nowhere near enough. Um, been collecting my uh, my redstone and making redstone torches as I need them. Um, they just you know you can put them on any block, right? But you have to have one for each of your your. Oh, actually, it'll power two contiguous ones. I don't think it'll power more than that. So I was thinking you had to have one for each. You know what? Since, it, since I only need one, I'm going to put those in in the t uh, chest. And that means it's a little more economical than I had thought. But not that torches are expensive. Okay, so anyway, that's where I'm at now. And uh, while I've got you here, I'm going to climb myself up. I don't think there's anything out here to bother anybody. Uh, how far away do I want to get? Or maybe I should start over here. Not real fond of doing this kind of stuff. I'm gonna need to be closer than that. All right, but it bothers me every time I look up at it. So I thought I would just do this, but I wanted to show it to you first. Anybody that's uh, done Skyblock will recognize what I was talking about. We're almost there. Oh, oh! I forgot that this one was here too. This is this little floating island here? So I'm going to connect to this and go ahead and get the birch wood out of it. And let it decay itself. I don't like this part at all. I can do it, but I don't like it. And yes, I have done Skyblock several times, several versions. But I just, I have a hard time with it. But there, see, that was easy. Whew, I can breathe again now. <laughs> and those things, the saplings will come down as they will. And if there's trees dropping out of the sky. And now, I don't know about you, but I dislike leaving a lot of tall grass around or any kind of grass. Now, most of the sheep that have been out here have been killed for meat, and I haven't tried to collect anymore. I mean, I haven't tried to, you know, breed them or keep them at all, because I'll be moving on, and uh, once I'm done with this, I, I thought about it, I may put the world on our family server, 
uh, very possibly, and then we can play it and have the railroad to mess around with. Um, we change the worlds on that quite often, but um, if I don't do that, then you know I'll probably never see the world again. I've been having lots of these giant trees to take down, which is great. Gives you lots of oak. So, and it's a mixed forest, so there's you know quite a supply of everything. Those will come down before I move on. Now I will probably do, the easiest thing to do is just to be, you know, I think I'll put my fence line along here, and the easiest thing to do is to just go ahead and make fences. It's cheaper actually to use, to make a simple, this is obviously quite ornate, and uh, you know, more hassle than it's worth, you wouldn't want to do that uh, for a long distance, but I just thought, you know, to go with the um, to use the oak and to go with the uh, surroundings a little bit that I would just do something a little different. So, yep, so that's where I'm at. I would like to go back that way a little bit. I think, well, I'm going to be going that way at one, some point anyway, and I'll probably collect some more dogs. And I'm hoping to see more, and I really do like the fact that now that they don't, they don't despawn. So one other one showed up, and he, I offered him bones. He took six bones and wouldn't tame. But he, um, he did kill a couple skeletons, and it was a really bad skeleton night, and I was killing them all over the place. And believe me, I have done my share of killing them, not just the ones down in the ravine, but uh, all over the place out here until I got it all lit up the way I wanted it. And I've been going through a lot of food, but thankfully it's not cookies, which were one of the one, what we had to eat in one of the latest MHCs. <laughs> okay, so I have one name tag. Oh, I found a spider dungeon down in the uh, caves that are just right underneath that moon over there. <laughs> Not actually. They're really close over there, right at the end of the line almost there. Um, there's a hole in the ground that starts down right away over there. And I uh, found a spider dungeon with uh, one chest in it, but it had in it a name tag. Did I put it in? Where did I put it? Oh, I think it's in the miscellaneous one which would be over here. Yep, single name tag. And I have my single anvil. So I can go ahead and uh, and name my pup. And then I can make a fishing pole and maybe get some more. And, uh, you know, or find more chests, whatever. I haven't found a uh, um, abandoned mine shaft. Now for a while, in 1.9, I was finding quite a few, but uh, haven't found any now. But I'm hoping that there will be a mesa in uh, one of the new mesas. I am in in 1.10, and uh, the uh, the launcher tells us that uh, they are quote filled with gold. Now, really, I'm going to probably when I go out of here after finishing this off, I'm going to bring up another world and go take a look at it and see if I can find a mesa and uh, see what they mean by that. Because I would really like to have that gold to make those uh, more powered reels that, I'm, that I need. So, anyway, this is uh, episode three, and it's my progress, and I'm gonna go ahead and sleep the night away, because I can. And I'll be making new beds as I go along, and I'm, you know, uh, that way I'll be able to still sleep, and uh, then I'll have uh, my spawn point close to me, I have my coordinates written down for everything, so I can get back to them, plus the railroad will lead me back uh, as far as I have it finished. So, next time that I see you, I should have the northern, uh, f the first whistle stop done. That's why I figured I'd get to the first whistle stop, get it built, uh, have the railroad working that far, and ride the rails to come back and show you how it's all set up by then. And I hope you will come back and see how the rest of it goes. And uh, thank you for watching.